Finally, watu wa Wisconsin, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Hii ni siku ambayo sisi tujingojea sana. And as you know, Wisconsin, si watu wengi sana hufika hapa. And we decided for the first time, mimi kama JD nitafika hapa Wisconsin. Well, to this dinner organized by Amara Realty. And let me tell you, tulifika hapa, it's called Daily State. Watu hapa wako busy sana. And of course, hata kama kuna wakenya si wengi vile, I came to realize this place is dominated by the white, hata blacks, and ni moja moja pale. But I will tell you what Kenyans bado came for our dinner and we thank God we had beautiful time in fact, I had pressure uh, kukutana na watu ambao walikuwa naishi Alabama, wakahamia Wisconsin because they said business here is favoring them. Well, thank you very much, John and Anne Kanyeri, for your support and also kututaftia mahali kama hapa. And let me tell you, the food was awesome. Ay, ay, ay. Mimi hata sijawahi kula event but this one I could not miss the salmon the chicken the rice I mean it was on point asante sana and I'm believing that our CEO of Amara Realty hata pia yeye aliona watu wa hapa walifurahia sana our good sister editor all the way from Chicago she traveled to come and support uh Jane of Amara Realty and of course we thank God uh for your support Pot. Bwana Muraidi, Muraidi's family walikuwa hapa na shukulu sana because of your support as well and you can see they are enjoying the meal because he did na haikuwa ya mchezo. And this is what we are saying bringing Kenyans together to invest kama tumepata mtu ambaye ni genuine, ambaye hakunyaganyi you have all the reason to invest with them. As much as we also want to invest in America it is good to remember your nation, where you came from. Let us send money with the purpose to jue mahali is Vitu Zico. I thank God the dinner was successful. I was happy to get new friends from Wisconsin. Nilipele kwa mahali kwingi. And let me tell you, if you ever think of traveling to the US, my friend, this is one of the best states you don't want to miss. Come here to Wisconsin. Haina wat Kenya wengi. Haina wazungu. Haina watuehusi wengi. But I'll tell you, the people who are here, they are loving. I'll tell you, they are loving. Kellen, nilikutana na watu wengi. Naomi, I can tell you. Mpaka marafiki wengine tuliretua kutoka inchi zingine. They are also willing to invest in Kenya. And I'll tell you, this was an eye opener. I thank God for you guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for showing love to us. Mimi na shukuru sana. And I'm telling you, after Wisconsin, we are traveling kwa zile states ambazo wa Kenya wengi hawaendi. You don't hear many events in those states. That's where we are coming. If one, if, if you are in one of those states, when ni ambia JD kuja hapa. And I know, ata New Jersey sijaenda. One of these fine days, I'll be going to New Jersey. What wa Iowa? Huko I am coming. One of these fine days. What wa Oregon? I know it is my in line. It, kwa iko kwa jiangu. I'm coming to Oregon. Let me tell you, Nashpai, hapa tunamuita Nash na kazi mzuri sana hapa nilipata na kazi ni uh, my friend alikuwa maradona alikuwa naitwa somebody wa kama wanjiro from nyaururu the guy you see there and let me tell you this was a good time for us so tafadhali let me give you some uh, tips nikupatia tu uh, inaitagwa ile kakuojesha kidogo at least you know how we felt when we were here i met my good friend joroge who is a financier i also met people who follow me secretly they support me secretly na nikashukuru sana we met other Tanzanians, other nationals from Congo, and they were willing to dine with us, and this was amazing. Thank you very much again, Jane, the CEO of Amara. I had this family from St. Louis. They traveled all the way from St. Louis. Ah, uh, Dr. Elijah and uh, his wife, uh, Faith Uo, they came all the way together with Jane, Mary, and uh, sister yeah, Mama Sami. Thank God for you for coming all the way from St. Louis to support us, and we really enjoyed. We had good time actually this was now our climax and i would tell you guys uh, wake up and just follow what happened if you're interested in investing in kenya let me tell you this was all about investment so getting this kind of people coming to listen uh, to what we have to tell them 
this was God. This was favor from God. So thank you guys. I love you. Watch anyone Because we started very well. The energy was good. I mean, you know what I'm saying? After the dinner, the energy was good. We had our good friend Rachel from Chicago. Uh, we had other people who traveled all the way. Kuna watu kutoka upande wa uko upande wa Eastern Kenya. They were here enjoying everything. And let me tell you, this was great. What was Wisconsin again? From the bottom of my heart, nilishukuru sana. Imagine ingekuja hapa nikute hakuna mtu ni mimpeke yangu. It could not be good. We enjoyed. Wacha nikupe uhoto. kia mwito wetu na kushewa ya pili nikitaka kuogea kuhusu Jen uh, Jen we thank you very much for being honest mimi nimefanya kazi na Jen for now more than like three years now or four, four years and uh, now it's our beer anything you do with Jen I can guarantee you that you will not regret and she is a honest woman. If there is something she is dedicated to, is honesty. If you want to do something back in Kenya, talk to Jane and you never regret. Uh, another thing is uh, Jeremy, thank you very much for coming to Wisconsin. And uh, I know all my brothers are not drunk like me. <laughs> but you are close. So <laughs> it's not, there is not that much different. When I am not there, people cannot <laughs> know that you are brown. <laughs> so thank you very much, Mr. Jeremy. Asante ni sana, ni Thank you. And uh, before John, you go. wife. Kujapa wife. Yeah, John. Makovi mazuri kwa John. Kwa wife, Mrs. John. And and uh, these people are wonderful people. So you're here. And because ni wao wana wajua zaidi. Na wamekuwa investors wa amara milti. Na sio investors wa mchezo. Uh, Michael, there is one by the name Michael and Mama Sifa. So, uh, Mama Sifa, I'm going to to We got to meet Jenny last year in December, no, 2022 in December. Jenna alikuwa mekuja kutembea kwa familia ya kina John and they called us, they told us, come, I have someone coming over, John. And when we went, we listened to her and uh, we bought onto what she was talking about. She was selling some plots, I believe it's in Ruru, Ruru East, and uh, they had different projects. And actually, we approached her. Initially, we just wanted to get just one plot. We just had enough money for one plot, but then she was very gracious. She was like, Unaza ukaripa pole pole, and we got to. Now, we got our title. I the title was shit and uh, we were very skeptical because we've had stories and 
we were worried of being swindled and all that and we sent somebody yale kwenda uangalio maneno kama tunauziwa hewa ama kuna mchanga pale you know ama unauziwa you know punzi huko but we sent somebody somebody we trust they went saw the plot actually we were neighbor there it is true he has a land in that place too so i endorse what you are saying that you are investing with him too and uh, our our jane ended up we don't see her just as somebody we are investing with but it's somebody that if i had any question even about another property i would go to her and be like what can i do about this because it is true she is an authentic woman she can be trusted and uh, whatever agreement we got into terms with that is what she worked with i'm going to add something i'm not telling people there is along the way we were paying for a plot slowly and along the way our math didn't math the way we thought they were supposed to math and and uh, at that point actually what i thought is she be like you know what now nah, we are going to erase this and you know change the terms and all that but Jane, thank you you are very gracious with us and very patient and we really really appreciate you amen and i hope we can do more business in future amen next we give michael Uh, kwa majina yangu naitwa Michael uh, let me speak with a uh, uh, Kiswahili a little bit uh, ndio watu wote hata wale wanatusikiza huko nje wangependa kusikia Kiswahili pia uh, ni vyema uh, kwangu ni machache tu sababu yale ameongea na ndugu yetu Jeremy ama John mimi ni kuongezea tu niseme ya kwamba Uh, ni ya kwamba mimi pia nilijua na, na dada yetu Jane wakati alikuja kwa brother John uh, pia mimi nikaalikwa pale kwa brother John uh, na mimi nikasema kwamba sitabaki nyuma uh, nikaambia dada Jane ya kwamba hata mimi nataka plot uh, tukawa tuka na mkakati ya kwamba tutalipa pole 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 mpaka ishe uh, nikachukua plot uh, Loilo East pia na ukweli ni kwamba mimi nina title yangu nyumbani nilienda bibi yangu akachukua title na ukweli ni kwamba mimi nitaendelea kununua na Jane mashamba yangu yote hata kama nimenunua na kampuni zingine lakini I trust her kwa hivyo najua kwamba ni mwaminivu na pia ni uh, kila jambo lolote lile kuwa mwaminivu na kuongopa Mungu ya kuambia kwamba Nunua kwa jeni na hauta juta maishani. Bwana wabariki. Amen sasa najua lakini mimi siogei sana. Wacha nimpe maidia wa idia tusie na yeye hapa na mimi sina kusema. Hello everyone. I'm Rose of Wad. First of all is to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh you know there's uh, in the Bible there's a person who prepared a party but nobody showed up. So me and John we don't take it for granted taking the time to come to sit down. I know here this country everyone is busy. Take your time. It's all about honoring us. So let me say thank you. People from Illinois, St. Louis, Denver, Colorado, uh, and where else? <laughs> yeah, I know Wisconsin. Uh, before us, <laughs> our dear pastor, I know you have a very tight program and you took your time to come here. We see you as our fellow Kenyan. I know one time maybe God embraces us. 
<laughs> he's Pastor Kamau and Pastor Njeri. <laughs> we call them like that. They are from Tanzania, but we appreciate them so much. We see them as our Kenyan, <laughs> our, our Kenyan dad, spiritual dad, also like Baba Wakawaida. So we thank you so much, Pastor. Uh, also, I want to thank you, Jane. Thank you for choosing us. You could choose any family, but you chose us. You trusted us with your resources. Thank you so much. And when I grow old or I grow rich, I want to be like Jane. <laughs> for sure, he's my role model. This baby is humble to earth. Very humble. You cannot say where he is. When you are told about his progress, you are like, hmm? So I pray to God when God elevates us to another level. I want to be like her. He's so humble. Thank you, Sister to Jane, for your encouragement. And everyone who took over, who took out his time and come here, we appreciate a lot. May God bless you. Invest with Amara for your peace of mind. May God bless you. Asante sana. Amen. God will bless your family. May God continue to bless the work of your heads, Jay. What you give out to other people, it comes back to you a hundredfold. And trust in God. God has a way of aligning everything. The DJ today, these machines, I bought them because I used to do events with the Kenya Women Support Group. And I used to think when I hire a DJ, it cost me so much money. So I invested in some DJ machine. So that I, you know, what I do is then get a young person. Then God helped me. My nephew came to school. So I tell him, okay, DJ. And what did, when Jane told me about this function, I said, okay, what do you do? You give pro bono for free. You don't get paid. Why? Listen to the sister, what she did to me. So God also wants us to do pro bono work where you give and not necessarily expect to be anything in return. And God atakubariki mbaka. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Only the best. Asante sana. And of course, watu wangu wa kamera wananiambia wengi wetu kala yenye tuko nayo haikuji vizuri tukiwa hapo kwa giza so we need to come here and tell you why go ya hoit ah nipigeni makofi mazuri jamani hata hii mavazi si mchezo si ndio hiyo si ni mungu tu kala hata mchungaji kama mungu ni guys so now uh, because i'm inviting jane and thank you for your registry actually we have seen a lot of uh, your names we have already received them so after she finish her presentation I'll be handing over 300 to someone tonight. Now, Jane, because today she wanted to talk about the house, but let me talk about one thing before she comes here. Kuna mahali kuna itwa Roiro East. Sema Roiro East. Last week, the CS of Transport, um, Kipchumba Mulkomen, roads, I think in roads, and your transport too, Alisema, it was in Dika. Akasema we, uh, that they are working with the Chinese government to start construction of Greater Eastern Bypass. Yenye itapitoka kirema ambogo, yende mpaka Mombasa Road. Two years back, generally introduced kwa landizake upande wa Royal East. She was selling 100 by 100. She was selling 100 by 100, 900 shillings. Uh, 900,000, 100 by 100. And this is how she does her land. Aki, akijenga wa shamba, anaweka geti ya kifahali, anaisekiwa even after 20 years. Haguna mtu anaweza kuja ajenge hapa. This is what we call Oiro East. This was actually the second project. Hapa kuna mtu wa mejenga, as you can see, solar ziko, maji ziko. And new property siju, na pia kuna watu wa mejenga wa diaspora hapo already. I think that property, uliza pesa ngapi? 1.2 million. She sold this 1.2 million. 100 by 100. Now today, transport minister, I'm a sema they are building a bypass. You guys, when you talk Kenya, you are bypass. You kusema namna gani? Two years, you were selling the same place. Ini kagundo rudiko kule chini. 
But half of Royal East, you were selling the same place 900. Now, today, where the bypass is passing, now you have to attack one. Is any property stack one? You can be watching them around. Here, property, at a size of the Jengua fence, it's now they are working it on it right now. Me personally, I have an acre. I have an acre. Now you bado ni naripa, bado na enderea kulipa. When Jane told me it's only 500 meters from the bypass, ni kamwabia onakafago bebe sa ikwete. And she gave me, she gave me a one acre. That land there, 100 by 100, she is selling it for, the last time I advertised was being sold for 1 point, 1.94. 1 1.94. Now, Isaiah Dora, you can talk about 160. We can't be a lot of money. We can't be a lot of money. We can't be a lot of money. We can't be a Right now, I'm very happy to tell you that that place, 500 meters to bypass, we have only 10 plots remaining. Najee, this is the first meeting in the US. Atakama huta nunua nyumba, my friend. Charles Camido. Mama, mama, bypass your egg. Go to the hotel in a kid to have. No, I'm very serious. I'm very serious. Bypass. You guys know bypass. This is in the Gambia, Kenya. What they have done. So this one is only 500 meters. So it means we need to go to Kwanza. We need to go to gas station. Because we have a gas station, have a hotel, and have a kid to go to the hospital. So please. My friend, na iko na title. One point nine four. Iyo ni cash. Ukiripa kolepora six months. It's how much? Two point one. Meri ta adato. Ole hagi okahora. Mule ora do fudaga adoito. Ni di ati iyo kedo ne baba. My dad did not leave anything to me, or for me, or for my brothers. So I want my kids to have something for themselves. And if not my kids, because they will be billionaires in America, when I grow old, me and my sweetheart, we will eat. Eat. Mpaka shikwile ya sana yetu ya kuenda, tutabiana, tutikeni inekari ya toge diena kwa ya. You know what I'm saying? Yani ya tuta kuwa na shida sisi. That's my plan. Anyway, thank you. Aka nimeabia, Pastor. Nimesema, when we grow old, we will be having good time. So now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to bring on board the only CEO Nimetangaza sana the longest anaitwa Jane Bayo. Bakali basi tafadhali. Karibu sana CEO. Utupeleke mbele. Thank for coming. My sister and friends, nimeshukuru sana. God is good. And all the time. Bwana asifiwe. Uh, today I'm very happy. I think a lot has been said about what we do and uh, what sets us apart. And uh, somebody was asking me, how did I get into the real estate business? And for me to be here, I am living my passion. Because when I was in my 20s, I asked myself, post-accountancy, what am I going to do? I'm an accountant by profession. So I asked myself, what am I going to do after I am done with accounting? And in my heart, I started feeling a pull towards real estate. And I didn't understand exactly what it meant to start a real estate business. So every year, when you're doing your New Year resolutions, I would write to start my real estate business, to open a real estate company. And this kept on year on year for more than a decade. But I kept at it. It was here in my heart. I never lost uh, the vision. So fast forward, that vision came to pass. That vision came to what is the moral of the story there? Who has learned something? Don't give up. Don't give up. Patience. Write your vision. Because one day, it will come to pass. So fast forward, I started uh, into the real estate business when I was still in employment. You know, you need to, first of all, get to know where am I going to get into before you jump ship and you leave your paycheck and you go into a business that you do not understand. So I started uh, selling when I was still in employment. I would buy uh, a shamba in my name, sell, subdivide and sell. And the first city I came to in the United States was actually Kansas City. So I went to Kansas City and I got many friends. And it is a community that really has uh, supported me was Kansas City because that was my first city. 
They believed in me and they bought. And I have so many clients there. Fast forward, 2019, I got another vision that not only am I going to sell land, but I'm going to start building homes. So on the 26th of November, 2019, I wrote down that I am going to build an estate and I gave it a name. And I printed out pieces of paper. Some of them I stuck on my mirror, bathroom mirror, uh, but there's one that I stuck on my laptop. So every morning when I open my laptop, I see that I'm going to build, I'm going to build an estate. And fast forward, 2023, by God's grace, that came to pass in December. But I kept at it. I kept looking at it. I kept remembering. And of course, for some years it was dormant. But 2023, I do remember. And I keep saying this because there are people who are there in your life and you need to listen. Because when God wants to bring something to maturity, he will lose anybody. He will lose anyone. So one day I'm driving to school. I'm taking my daughter to school. And she asks me, Mom, why can't you build a nest it? And I'm thinking, okay, what do you mean? So she starts saying, no, you can build a nest it, blah, 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 and all that. So that enters my heart, and I'm thinking, okay, there is that vision I have for building homes. Back in 2019, I need to bring it forward. Then one day, we are still driving another day, a different day, and she asks me, why can't you build an estate like Jacaranda? How many people know Jacaranda estate? Okay, a couple of people know Jacaranda. Jacaranda is one estate that has been done by the Chinese. It has maybe thousands of homes there. And she's trying to tell me what you need to do. Uh, you can build something like Jacaranda, but be different. Don't do what everybody else is doing. And this is... At that point, I think she was seven, going to eight years old. And she's trying to articulate, this is what you're going to do. You're going to build a place where people can come. Our children have a place to play. People can buy stuff. And this is a child trying to articulate the vision. And that's when I woke up. And I started looking for land. And I knew where I wanted the land. And that's a place I went to look for land. And that's on Gatanga Road. Just that road from uh, Blue Post. That's where I started looking for land. And for a whole year, I started the negotiations, and it was a process. It was a process. Uh, at one point, my dad told me, you know what? I think these people are taking too long to actually realize that you have a dream that you need to fulfill. Why don't you look elsewhere? And when I decided to look elsewhere within the same area, in less than one and a half months, I had closed the deal. And before then, I had come to the United States in the month of May, June, and July. Because when now I started looking for land, the next question is, what am I going to build here? So I sat down with an architect, and we came up with a design. And I came with a design to the United States. That was last year. And I went around in many uh, cities, and I wanted to talk about these homes. I already had the name, but when I look at the homes I want to talk about, I'm like, uh -uh, this has not, it's not yet there. So I went to visit various homes. Uh, as Jeremy said, I went to $2 million, $1 million, 500000 I mean, all sorts of homes to try and see what is it that I can do differently back in Kenya and give people Everybody says I have a dream home in my mind. But how can I, wish, I mean, actualize these dream homes for many people so that everybody who sees it is like, oh my God, this is what I've been looking for. This is what I've been looking for. So I went around, took notes, went back, sat with my architect, and I told him, now we need to sit on the table and we are going to work on this. So all the ideas I had, we started implementing one by one. Most of the nights I'd go home past midnight. My daughter would ask me, <clears throat> why did you come so home late? I mean, home so late. And I'll tell her I sat with the architects. And sometimes she would say, mommy, can I come and sit with you guys? I also have ideas to contribute. And yes, she sat with us. So some of the ideas that you have seen are actually her ideas. And every single detail that you have seen, there is no borrowed detail. 
nothing is borrowed where every pillar is where the bedrooms are how the kitchens looks like every single painting we actually sat with the architect looked for the paintings that would actually fit in various places so this is something that is hundred percent authentic from amara realty nothing borrowed all right so I, I, I thank God for the fact that we have come. So when you look at the Oint country homes, one of the things we decided <clears throat> was that we were going to build these homes in a hundred by hundred. Why? Because when we go out there to sell land, we tell people we are selling to you hundred by hundred. So we have to lead by example and tell people when you build a home in, on a hundred by hundred, this is how it's going to look like. This is how you're going to utilize your space. So that's what we did. We have built our homes on a hundred by hundred. Number two, when you get into the house, you don't get in into the house and the first thing you see is a couch. So you're greeted by a grand foyer, wow. right? So you walk in and you have a nice mirror, you have a beautiful console table if you want to put one there and you have this open space you know, you don't feel congested. The other thing is we, we decided um, sometimes most of us like hosting. Uh, you want your nice clean kitchen to remain clean and nice and pristine. But you also want to do the heavy duty cooking. So that's why we have provided two state of the art kitchens. One for your heavy duty, the other one for your day to day where you want to keep it clean, nice to look at and beautiful. The other thing is that we have two living rooms, one downstairs and the other one upstairs. I'm going to talk about the one upstairs. One of the things I listened and I heard is that by the time somebody wants to go back home, you've worked, you don't want to keep climbing the stairs. So one of the things we've done is that we've provided for a master bedroom downstairs. All right? very spacious with a walk-in closet and when you get to the bathroom as you sit there in your nice bathtub it opens up to the skies because we have opened up we have glass so you can look into the sky uh, feel like you're outside but you're inside and that's optional some of you like your private space nobody will see you but you can see the skies uh, the other bedrooms are very nice. Every bedroom has a nook. And the reason we put that is sometimes you want to read. Sometimes you want to sit and meditate. You have a space away from your bed where you can go sit. You can go read your book. You can go meditate. You can go, you know, just be you. That's a reason we have provided a nook. Again, it's optional for those who want to have it in all the bedrooms. We have a DSQ. Our homes are four bedrooms. So we have four bedrooms and a DSQ. The DSQ, you can access it from outside. You have access to the wet kitchen or the dirty kitchen. Therefore, if you are away and you want to lock your house, the person you have left at home, they have access to their DSQ and they have access to the kitchen. So they can do whatever it is that they need to do without interfering with the rest of the house. Now, we go upstairs. When you're going up the spiral staircase, it also opens up to the sky. We've provided great lighting. Our windows are large, and then it opens up. We have glass at the top, so you can actually feel the rain. As it rains, you can see the stars. You can see the birds as they fly across. I mean, what we're providing uh, as an oint country home is not just a home. It's an experience. When you get into that house, you are, you know, you're living an experience, not just walking through rooms and, you know, it's an experience that we're giving to every person that purchases a home at the oint country home. So upstairs, once you get in, we have now another bedroom. And the reason we have one bedroom upstairs, there are people who say, oh, we are still young. 
uh, maybe you want our master up there. So it's, it's a provision. It's not as grand as the one downstairs, but it can serve as a master as well. Or your private dwelling where you can go to retreat with your wife or your loved one. That's a space for it. And then it's, it opens up to another lounge and out into a beautiful green terrace. Tell somebody, beautiful green terrace. So if you want to have parties, if you want to have friends coming around, that's a place you go sit and have a great time with your people. I mean, I'm already there. I am there. I am every day. I talk about these homes. I actually see myself already living in that home. And somebody may ask, how big are these homes? In terms of square meters, 300 square meters. In terms of square feet, it's 3,230. That's a big home. That's a massive home. How many people understand those parameters? I think most of us do understand, isn't it? So it's a big, spacious home. And the beautiful gardens crowns it all. So I invite you, come and be part of this the oint country homes. And for those wondering, what does the oint mean? It actually means anointed. And that's the name I got in 2019. So, yeah, that's what it means. So when you get in there, you're actually getting into an anointed, gated community. And I mean, the presence of God is there. The peace of God is there. We have already gone to the land. We have prayed over the land. We were sitting with Pastor David there. And he was saying that the words that we speak to the ground, it opens up and receives those words. Right? So when you go and buy a parcel of land or whatever it is that you buy, you have to be cognizant that this land had an owner before. And now that it is transitioning and you're getting this land, you have to transition it on paper, but spiritually as well. So whenever we buy land, we do that. We transition and we say, this land does not belong now to the old owners. It now belongs to a moral reality and the people who are going to buy into it. So when you get in there, you're getting into a land that is free from whatever could have been spoken in the past. So again, he was saying, you don't have to do too much work binding the devil. Casting out, it's already done for you by Amara Realty. So, Karibu Sana. <laughs> oh, give me a clap. <laughs> so, Karibu Sana, get uh, yourself the Oint Country Homes, beautiful, beautiful homes. This is the first, and I can tell you, we are going to do many, many more. The first community is a, whole, a community of 28. We are going to expand it to 43. That is where you've seen. When you look at the house, it says number. So we ha the first phase has to get to 43. By faith. <laughs> so but the first units that we've launched are 28. We have a clubhouse. Uh, we've provided a whole uh, 100 by 100 for the clubhouse where now the community can come, hold their gatherings, and, you know, sit, enjoy, and everything. So, that is the Oint Country Homes for only 24.8 million. Only. Only. And I'll tell you, honestly speaking, honestly speaking, those are the most affordable homes within that area. Somebody just check how much is a home in Thicker Greens, because we are neighbors to Thicker Greens. A plot alone, 100 by 100 is 8 million. You haven't built. You don't have a community yet. So those are the most affordable homes within that area and even the other areas. Don't be left behind. Come be part of us at Amara Realty with the Oint Country Homes. Any question? Yes. Can you say something about security? Because we hear a lot. Mm -hmm. Security, we hear a lot when you want to sleep you know, at home. Like, yes. There's more security than apartments, uh, you know, like a condominium. Uh, well, I... Uh, 
Now, I know you are saying this is a development, so mm. I'm figuring, I guess, there is what there is a like a fan, there's a big yes, yes. Fan, yeah. So what we what we are doing, as you can see, these are not just ordinary homes. So our security is going to be top notch. So we are going to do the security fence. We are going to do razor wire on it and and uh, electric on top. And again, we will have people who are going to man the estate because this one you have people coming in, people coming out. So we need security. So that is part of what is going to be provided within that estate. And that area is actually coming up with many more estates. So it's going to be, a, you know, it's going to be, even the security will be, and right now the security is good, but even when we build, we'll enhance that security. So you don't have to be afraid. Yes, we have people living in, uh, uh, away from apartments, you have people living in such gated communities and the security is perfect. Yeah. Anyone else? Uh, terms of payment. Hmm? Oh, terms of payment. She's asking about the terms of payment. So for you to book a home, you pay a deposit of 4.6 million, 4.65 million. You book a home. The rest is payable within 18 months. That is a construction period that we're going to have. Yes. A follow up on uh, what happened. John was. Does it appear like we will have a monthly maintenance fee? Because you talked about yes. people manning the facility. So even yes. after you buy, yes. there is a monthly maintenance fee, or what I think they call, they call it a uh, condominium Service charge. fee here. What what is it projected or expected to be? Uh, okay, that one we have not projected the amounts because that will be determined by the number of guards that we shall require. And again, that is also where the residents come in and they sit together because once we have built, we will hand over the management of the estate to the residents. And that's where the residents will come and say we'll be contributing 8,000 a month so that we are able to have five guards or six guards We'll have a gardener who is going to maintain the common areas. So that is what uh, the homeowners association or the residents association is going to do. So yes, there will be a service charge in addition to after you've purchased, and this is for the maintenance of your homes. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> so my question is: some of us or at least for me, you know, we always wonder, so you have a property like this, it's a lot of money, right? Yes. I have young children who are here, and so the old Pali, the only time we we'll spend time is in Kenya, is, you know, we visit family. Mm. We could have a vacation home, but obviously we are still in that younger years that we can afford that, so to say. Mm. If someone wants to invest in this and probably try to get a renter, do you have an idea? Is it is it feasible to say I'll put a renter in there? If yes, some potential management companies that could 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 help me right keep up with the renting process and and collect the money. Do, do you think this property is for that purpose? I'm a, no, it's probably more single family living homes. Uh, one, once you purchase the home, remember this is your home, so you're at liberty to do as you said. You can rent it out. Uh, you can convert it to a high-end Airbnb. That is an option that you have. Because again, we understand you're here and you cannot leave a vacant home. So you're free to rent. And yes, we have many companies that do uh, the rental and they do the management of rent. But maybe along the way, we'll also have an arm of a matter of realty that will also help in the process. But yes, there are many people who can do that for you. Hustle free. Yes. Question? No matter what. Okay. Yeah, actually, my question is quite simple. I heard you talking about uh, 3,000 uh, square foot. 3,200 square foot. Yes. And uh, is this livable space or is it build up space? The built up space. Build up space. Yes. Do you have an idea of what the livable space is? Mm, I would have to calculate that. Okay. The letable space. That's not the livable yeah, space. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. That's, that's a built that's up question. area. Build up yeah.
quick question. You said uh, how much is the total cost of the house? 24.8. 24.8, right? And how much is the deposit? Uh, 4.65. So you have about uh, 20 million balance, right? Yes. So you, you said uh, it has to be paid before the end of construction? Yes. By the time we are handing over the house to you, you should have completed. Let's put it that way. Uh, this is about, what, 18 months? 18 months, yes. Don't you think that is a very short period for someone to raise 20 million uh, balance? <laughs> Considering, no, con actually, consider there are people lose who are actually telling me, Jane, 4.6, it will be a So <laughs> Because some people, some other people, maybe they are, are paying mortgage over here, considering mm. that you have about the same amount of money over here if, uh, to pay a house. On a light note, we've and, actually considered that, and we've been working with banks. So if you feel that maybe that is a stretch. Okay, maybe that's an answer. Yes. If you feel that's a stretch uh, in terms of the monthly repayment, we have a bank that you're working with. And what they're going to do, once you have paid up your deposit, then now they'll come, they'll have an arrangement. Of course, they'll have checked uh, how much they can be able to loan you, and then now they'll be stepping in. So every, um, let's say monthly, we'll give them our the bill, uh, the architect will give the bill, and they will be able to finance that part, and to go, you know, in stages. So you'll not take out the whole facility at a go, it will be done in stages. Okay, yeah, you, you gave me the answer because I was con yes. considering that a very short time, yes. considering that over here we got uh, up to maybe 30 years to pay your mortgage, mm. but now you give the answers that you can take from mortgage from yes. the bank. And, and I want to tell you, the reason why our homes are actually very affordable is because we are going on with the journey with you. If I were to build those homes and tell you come and buy the home, it would be between 30 to 35 million. Okay, so yes. do you have a... Are you going to introduce, your, say, your customers uh, to the uh -huh. bank that they can finance them? Yes. Yes. Right. We already have a partnership with the bank. So when you're ready, we will walk the journey with you. Perfect. Yes. Any other question? The financing, the financing part. Yes. And th that's for the homes because the homes, it's a large amount. So the banks would come in. Uh, when I traveled to the UK, maybe I, I need to just point this out. There are people who asked me, Jane, you only give us six months to pay. Because again, we buy our projects up front. We need to pay the seller even before we bring the project to you. So it's capital intensive. So I can't be able to give you very long term to pay because again, our business is going to be shut. So what they kept telling me, why don't you facilitate a way where people can start putting in money, at least they're able to raise a deposit, and then thereafter they can borrow and be able to purchase a plot of land. So we went back and we have started a circle. And this circle is primarily to help people who are not able to raise a deposit. So you, you invest in the circle, you put in your money, Six months, you're able to borrow. And then that title of viewers is what becomes your security. Uh, or you can get guarantors to guarantee you. To guarantee you. So if you're here in a community, Wisconsin people, I'm able to get guarantee from somebody within our community. So that way you will grow. And somebody is able to say, I don't have the 1.94 million of the 2.1 million, but I can start a journey. You can raise the 500,000, you can borrow, and then now your title becomes our security or the security for the circle. Is that good? Yes. yes. It started already. We received a certificate, I think, uh, about two weeks ago from the uh, cooperative, so we are ready to go. So my question would be, if somebody wanted to be like in the, in the sub, I like the sub part. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, yeah, because, you know, if I am to be realistic, mm. sometimes that is how we are able to achieve, yes. you know, the goals or the dreams that we have, you mm. know. But, and I would really love to know, you know, how I can be. It's very easy. For you to become a member of the circle, there is a joining fee or a registration fee of 2,000 shillings, Kenya shillings. Uh, the share capital is 10,000. 
Okay, so the share capital is not part of the money you can borrow against. That is like when a business is starting to have share capital, so that's share capital for the circle. And then now you can contribute any amount monthly according to your weasel. Yes, but a minimum of a thousand. Are you guys going to have uh, dividends? Yes, because you know, you know the circle is member run. It's not... Jane as, as the CEO of Amara Realty. This is a different... So the members or the people who are going to be selected as a management uh, committee, they're going to say, we have earned X amount of interest from member loans or from wherever other place they have invested. So we are going to redistribute this to our members. So yes, there'll be dividends and there'll be interest. Yes. And then they will invest... Uh, the committee will determine where to invest. The what? And the committee of the circle yes. will determine to, they can invest anywhere. No. Where they decide it's uh, No, what happens is that uh, they have guidelines from the cooperative. Uh, when it comes to a credit uh, circle, because us is a circle, savings and credit, meaning people save and they borrow. If you have extra funds, you're able to uh, invest, but the cooperative is very clear. You can only invest in liquid securities. Like you can buy bonds, you can buy treasury bills. So it restricts where you can invest, which is good because now people don't just go and buy or invest aimlessly and risk the members' funds. So they have guidelines. You can uh, invest in uh, fixed deposits with banks. Yeah. So ideally, safe securities. Let me put it that way. Yeah. And I'm looking to see if there's another question. So my question is, we have this one, million. Yes. And maybe there is, we are still in going, well, as we get old, we want just something cute and small. Yes. Whereby you can just cook dinner. Yes. And then maybe... <laughs> And entertain one friend, right? Have somewhere to to rest and then go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Maybe the next one. Now this is anointed. The anointed. You should <laughs> think about getting and then a little bit chini. We will play in all spaces, <laughs> so you will get something that will fit, will fit your bill very soon. All right. So, uh, are you planning? Are you planning to to do business out outside Kenya, or you're doing only in Kenya, or in future? Are you planning to go East Africa or all of Africa? <laughs> Thank you, because that is called expanding my vision. So I am not limited to Kenya. At the moment, it's Kenya because we've not exhausted Kenya. But when God opens the opportunities for us to go to Tanzania, to go to Rwanda, we will go because we are not bound by the Kenyan boundaries. So yes, we will cross borders. <laughs> yes, John. When I was... Talking to a lot of people, mm -hmm. there is a question which they were asking me yes. uh, about do you have something maybe close to Nakuru or outside uh, outside Nairobi? Nairobi. Yes. Uh, okay, I know about the Nakuru, but right now what we have outside Nairobi is we have something on Kanguda Road, which is Cosmopolitan. And we have something in Nanyuki, it's also cosmopolitan. And yes, we shall consider going to Nakuru. Actually, I've been looking, it's only that I have not gotten something. I always tell people when we invest or when we buy land as a matter of realty, the number one test whether this is good is can Jane or can I buy it for myself if somebody else was selling it? So if the answer is yes, then I'll buy. If the answer is no, I will not touch. So there are places I have gone, but because the land has not appealed, then I have not bought. So we are looking into Nakuru, and very soon we'll get something there. Yes. How many people want Nakuru? Nikilata msiniache kwa mata. 
<laughs> okay, a number of people. Okay. What's coming up in Nanyuki? I saw Nanyuki featured uh, and you mentioned it. Are you building this level of homes or what's coming up? Uh, Nanyuki, what we have, we have plots. We do not have uh, homes. Uh, and one of the things about Nanyuki, it's one of those cosmopolitan towns. You go to Nanyuki and you actually feel like you're in any other state in the U.S. Because the people you meet there, you meet all cultures. I mean, the, if there's one town that has all the banks, is Nanyuki. So it tells you the level of development in that place. And it's one place that you can actually live and forget about the rest of the country. So every time I go to Nanyuki, you want to feel, I mean, I feel like I want to stay there for a couple of more days. I go for one day trip and I say, no, I have to sleep here because it's so inviting. It's so warm. It's a tourist uh, location. Uh, anybody who wants a place away from home, that is the location to be. So there we have plots. Uh, we are currently selling quarter acres at only 540. That's about $4,200. Yes, amazing projects. Yeah. And all our projects, we do amazing things. You've seen the projects we've done? Don't they look good? Yeah. We, we, we have raised the bar in the real estate industry. Yeah. And, yes. So where are you located? Are you in Kenya or here in the U.S.? I'm in Kenya. We have an office that is right next to Thika Road Mall uh, on Thika Road. Yeah, an office. Uh, we are in a building called Jewel Complex, second floor. You will find us there next to Thika Road Mall. That's where we are. And you can always call us on the brochures that, that you have. We have the address there. You can always come and visit us should you be in Kenya. Yeah. Any other? All right, Pastor Kamugo, do you have a question? No, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So thank you so much. Uh, please I'll be seated here or even here when we are done. Come ask those questions that you could not ask, but please do not go without something. Jeremy talked about rural east. Please ask your neighbor, do you have something in rural east? <laughs> Akise mahana wabie atachekelewa. And very soon. It is going to happen very soon. Because when we used to talk about... Don't laugh in advance. Go jakwaza. Bypassi jegwe uwaza kucheka. You know? <laughs> Please, and this I'm saying it on a very serious note. On a very serious note. If you don't have something in rural East Mwalimu Farm, please take this very seriously. Get something for yourself. Eh? Si hapo Mwalimu Farm ali umenunua? Eh, wewe uko chonjo, wewe uko sawa. So if you don't have please see me don't go without something because the next time i'm coming here i'll be talking of a different story because many of the times people were asking me this bypass you talk about this bypass you talk about when is it going to be done and my answer used to be i do not know but i know it's going to be done now i know it has been declared that from next year it's gonna start so are you going to wait for the bypass how many will wait for the bypass how many have that courage to wait for the bypass? Good. So take the chance now because in another two, three years, you'll be happy that you sat in this meeting and you made a decision to buy. Thank you so much. Back to the MC. Before you go, ni wagapu wamekubaliana ya kwamba hiyo 24 million ni nyingi sana kwetu hatuwezi Dauliza ni nani amesema hiyo nimekubali ni mingi mimi siwezi ilikuwa mingi sana bali kaingilia Awesome so exactly me I will say this is not even about the bank is about faith Okay brothers 
is about faith. Jesus said, if you have that small faith, you can move this mountain from this side to that mountain. So, mimi nasema, kama umeona yumba umeipenda, you just need to start. Yeah. True. I mean, you just need, when you say that you have a project, you have to keep it here. Imesha. Because the Bible says he will provide according to our our to what? Faith. Our needs. Because you need to keep it here. You have to keep it here. I mean, so we have to take the step of faith. John, I know you have to keep it here. But I will say, I'll take this. And another one, and another one, and another one. Mm. And I will say, I'll take this. And another one, and another one. So please, become our neighbor. Ukigojea kupata 24 million eta, eta go utagojea sana. Sindiyo hiyo? So kama if you have ya 4.6 we wekelea. The one good thing I know hata ukiwekelea uwezi poteza. Mm. You know, sisi si wale wapata potea atuwekelea sasa kufike mahali bwana Charles hata kama umejenga mansion mansion kule upande wa Nyabarwa na Hururu tunakutaka karibu na Nairobi bana. Eh? Nataka karibu na Nairobi. So Jane, mm. as I let you go. Hii mambo ya land mm. naona huku yongelelea sana. Okay. But I still want to talk about this. Hii property, unajua mm. me I told them hii property iko hapa. Kuna mtu anasema siwezi hiyo ya 24 million, but hii iko karibu na bypass. Hizi hii property, hii property iko. Unisema iko how many kilometers from bypass? Labda mimi sikusikia vizuri. It's 500 meters. 500. Yes. Meters. Yes. From the proposed Greater Eastern Bypass. Na hiyo ndio unauza 1.94 million cash. 1.94. Mtu alifanyia mahesabu niambia hizo ni dola gapi? 15,097. 15,000. 15,000. So imagine hiyo pesa umeweka chini ya kitanda kwa sababu ninajua mko nazo kwa nyumba. <laughs> You give out 15000 ukipewa cash utabeba Kuna vile nitajipanga e, nikikubebea 10 na wewe unabeba kingine unapeleka nyumbani So what I'm trying to say is even if you cannot get that um, 24 million house please mm. take those 10 plots in the back Hata ukitaka kuchukua zote one acre has how many plots Uh four Just four plots yeah. because it's a hundred by a hundred mm. Sasa mimi niko na ime hapo na John Uko hapo eh? Hapo kwa kwa bypass. Bypass hapa. Bado ako mahali pengine lakini sio hapo. Fikiria hapo kwa bypass. Alikuwa anasema anafikiria hiyo. Nani anafikiria mambo ya bypass? I mean so deposit because 500,000 and then 10 plots. Aseme let me do it by faith. Let me do like Jeremy said in Wekele hiyo anawekelea ngapi 500,000 500,000 mm. hiyo ni pesa ngapi in dollars 500,000 just at the 4,000 about 4,000 mm. so i mean you can be part of this mm. upon hiyo ni 6 months 6 yeah. months mm. yeah so 1.9 ukiweka deposit size ya 2.1 ukiweka deposit ya 500 utabaki na 16 1.6 1.6 yeah. you divide by 6 months utakuwa ukilipa pesa ngapi that's all you need to do mm. thank you very much tumpigie makofi mazuri kuna mtu ako na swali kuhusu hiyo bypass anybody ha huh? kuna mtu nimesikia akiuliza mm. hebu tusikizane kwanza kuna mtu nimesikia akiuliza hiyo hiyo rendo east iko wapi? Oh. Huyu maji. Oh, please. Okay. Mwelezee dakika kidogo. Okay, let me explain where rendo east is. How many people know Kamakis? Ama wamesikia Kamakis? Okay, good. When you are at Kamakis, uh, when you're on that road as you head towards Kangudo Road, on this side there is Northland City, hiyo shamba ya Kenyatta family and this side the industrial park of the northland city now where the industrial park of the northland city starts on this side if you go with your boundary uende nayo mpaka kwa mto uvuke mto huko ndio riro east mwalimu farm so ideally we actually border northland city only that you have to go and cross a river and go to the other side and that's a road we are saying 
There's a, that's a road that is going to link the Eastern Bypass to the proposed Greater Eastern Bypass. And from that link road to where our land is, is only 500 meters. So meaning in a very short time, tutakuwa tuna, tuta, tunapitia hapo uh, Eastern Bypass, yo Giacamakis, unaenda nayo, unavuka mto, and you go to the other side. And that's what I was telling somebody. For the longest time, uh, we didn't know what, when it, the bypass is going to be done. But last year, we had a lot of activity where we'd see people coming to survey where the bridge is going to be. And now that it has come from the CSS mouth, that actually the Greater Eastern Bypass is in the pipeline, it's now good news for us. Neighboring that, if you are coming now, right now, because that road is not built, so the bridge does not exist, we have to go around to Roy Quick Mart. From Roy Quick Mart, you go like you're going parallel to Thika Road and see if you're going towards Juja Farm. So before, once you exit Nairobi County, that's where now Riro East starts. And Riro East is in Kiambu County, Malimu Farm. So Hapo, GIA Quick Mart, Una Pitia Hapo. Ukifika mwisho wa lami, Riro East in Anza. Now, from mwisho wa lami hiyo to where our land is, the one that we're talking about is only 1.9 kilometers. Thank you. Thank All right. And now the other thing is, it's not official, but the land that borders where the tarmac ends, that land, there, there are news that they're going to build homes there, affordable homes, like, 17,000 homes. So if that is done, now this place opens up just like that. So if you don't have something in rural East Mwalimu Farm, again, I say, utachekwa. <laughs> the day was good. What we are very happy, very much excited because of uh, my good friend, uh, John, Pamoja na Charles, na watu wote wa hapa, ambao wame to support. Jennifer, thank you very much. God bless you. And I want to move around. Niongea na watu waniambia how they felt the event was because inviting people with a short time, telling them to come, leave their busy schedule, and come to this big dinner. I mean, it has to be God. This must be God's favor. Na watu wame kuja kwa jangu. I'm going to start with uh, my friend here, Jen. Jen Kimani. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you yes, for coming. Yes, 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 tell me, how was the day? The day was great. Right. I mean, uh, I'm overwhelmed mm -hmm. with uh, the joy. Right. I realized with, uh, first of all, having to meet you, yes. also having uh, to witness right. the work. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, your connection, you are collaborating with the, with us here in Wisconsin. Yes, we feel blessed. Amen. Um, and we thank you. Asante. And we are hoping this is just a start yes. to long uh, term uh, right. partnership. Mm -hmm. Are you special? My name's like Jane. Yes. I'm gonna continue Kabisa. speaking on my on her name. Awesome. Yeah. So, so you can say Wisconsin Moto Imeanza. Yes, Moto Imeanza. Now, what do you Wisconsin? Kuna Wisconsin. Tuko hapa, mm. tumefurahi, yes. na tunasema asanti. Thank you. Mawewe, kuja, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Yes, you. Asante sana. Yes. Thank you. Now, I go to oh, the next okay. level. Yes, asante yes, sana. Yes. Well, follow me, because I have to do this. And right now, I have my good friend here. How are you? Oh, I'm good, Jeremy. How are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Well, what, uh, when you are Chicago, my Wisconsin? Chicago. Chicago. Mm -hmm. We may feel that I'm being here today. Right. Yeah. So what do you have to say and tell Jane? Uh, Jane, thank you for your representation. <laughs> and uh, hopefully, by the end of this year, mm -hmm. I'm going to get a part. Awesome. Yeah. So, you are saying Jane is real. Jane is real. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to get something from her. Kabisa. Yes. What was Chicago to Ambiaji? Mukuje, Mufara, Jane, Apana Mambo Mzuri. Awesome. Yeah. Kira Kime Kufraiza Sana. Paiso for the Tizote. Um, I mean, to make Kula for free, mm -hmm. uh, to make you enjoy, mm -hmm. but to make. Schema why the Ingine come insurance, right. all that. Yeah. Mm, Asante Sala. Yeah. Thank you, God bless you. I have this gentleman right here. How are you? Yes, sir. We need Nani. We need Morris. Morris. Yes. From where, Kenya? That was my wife. You just spoke. Oh, wow. Awesome. Yeah. Kenya, you happy? Uh, Machakos. Machakos? Yes. Right. Because the morning it was Yes. 
Mara kuna huko Eastern tuko na kitu kazi yeah. Uberu. Yes. Mzuri sana. Yes. So event yote unaweza sema imekuwaje. Event yote it was really good. Right. Na hiyo bila ulikuwa unasema watu wamepangwa hapa mm. you send money mm. unaenda unapata ni hewa right i know una kitu so yes. that guarantee mm. made a lot of people at ease right wakajua mm. this is a genuine thing yes so hii itakuwa sawa asante sana yes. wakati wanasemekana anga hawa invest unasemaje well wana ni uoga mm hiyo mimi mimi ni mmoja wao but you uoga imeisha leo right Yimeisha leo. Mm. Sasa kuanzia leo kwenda mm. mbele ni kuwekeza. You we know where to go. Right. And uh, it was good. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. I appreciate you sana. Yes sir. Thank you God bless you. Let's keep going. I know I have this beautiful lady right here. How are you? I'm good. Huyu ni mkibiaji. Wewe ni maradona ama sasa ni studio gani? Una dai yani? Bado. Una kibia gani? Sasa hii nimezeeka si vile. Ati nimezeeka. So you step in one kitambo? Eh high school. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like Umewin members. Yeah. Ni shikwa Paris Marathon ni Olympic. Mhm. Alafu nimekupia yule. Gold ama gani? Mimi nilikuwa nilifika Okay. Oh, nice. So you have been in marathon for how long now? Kuche, kutembe, kutoka high school. Kutoka high school. Ah, mm -hmm. short distance mm -hmm. like 10k. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, marathon. Yeah. Marathon Wow, 42 kilometers. Hey, yeah. so now today we had Jenny event. Unaweza semaje? Wewe ni member of guest. Eh, niko na plot kadhaa huko Loiro. Mhm. Nitafikiria kushukuru zake. Awesome. Thank you very much. So unaweza ambia watu marathoners wengine wako hapa diaspora aje. Eh, invest. Mm. Invest ni kuzuri. Right. Mm. Thank you very much. Yeah. God bless you so much. Ah, yeah. uh, what's the Maria Musha I'll have to do this. I have to do this because I have Jennifer here and I have Anne. Najua wanajaribu kupatia. Kujeni hapa karibu kuna mwangaza. Kujeni hapa Anne. Jenny nimalizana na yeye. So I have uh, let me put this mic open here. I have this wonderful lady here Jennifer. She's one of the community leaders here wa mtukaribisha vizuri sana hapa. So what do you have to say about today? Today was a very incredible day. Right. It started with good weather mm -hmm. in Wisconsin yes. and everything flowed. Mm -hmm. And we have gotten a lot of information right. that you never have known. Yes. And the people were so happy. Mm. And you also brought everything that we expected. Asante. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. And so much. Much. Up in the state of daily. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is good. So now about yes. about investment. Well, yes. Najua, you have been here, you have been around for some time. Yeah. And now uh, Kenya wengi siju ama hapa Wisconsin wanaogopa kuwekeza juu ya kunyaganywa ama what do you think about that? The, okay, most of the people that I know, they want to invest back home. Right. But because of that mistrust, mm -hmm. it becomes a little bit difficult. Right. So most of the time they say, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to invest where I am. Mm -hmm. But this information that we have got today mm -hmm. it has also put us in another way of mm -hmm. like you know what right. this can be done mm -hmm. as long as i have somebody right. who actually can do this we mm -hmm. have had testaments from the lady jennifer yes. bayou yes that she has done it mm. we have people here today who actually showed us they yes. have a title mm -hmm. deed yes so what are you waiting for Chukua? Yes. Ndio hiyo. Yes. Tile tumekumeleza tumekuwa na project ni tumekuwa na nyumba tumekuwa na shamba nini umeona iko sawa sana but everything was very good right and you know why mm -hmm. it started from the 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 first it was the house right and then if you are listening mm -hmm. and you have not reached to that level yes then you say you know what i'm mm -hmm. not going to wait because mm -hmm. i have another opportunity right. for buying the plot mm -hmm. which is a little bit lower yes and jane is mm -hmm. going to work with you mm -hmm. in a way that mm -hmm. it's kind of personal fitting right you, you know i think i feel much more mm. convinced mm -hmm. and in a way that i might not have a lot of questions okay yes thank you very much jennifer thank you god so bless much. you also for coming as a here in wisconsin and this is just the beginning the we're gonna come back America. again and again welcome asante sana. Karibu sana. and also for the gift god bless you so much you are welcome thank you asante sana asante say hi to your family i will see all of you your mom thank your you. parents mm -hmm. and everybody mm -hmm. yes.
Wisconsin, yes. we do better. I know. Wisconsin <laughs> now is the best. Thing. Thank you so much. God bless you, Minato Jeremy. Thank you. Thank you.